And hey guys, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 bringing you part four of New Super Mario Bros. U. All right, in today in this video we're heading off to World Four, Frosted Glacier. Which, you know, not surprisingly, I would, had a really difficult time trying to record this as well as the next world, uh, Soda Jungle. So, yeah. Pretty much gotta beat all of those levels. This one actually took me a few attempts to beat. The thing that makes this level really difficult is the third star coin. Um, yep, boxing ghosts are back. I don't actually recall their names off the top of my head. Um, but you gotta use one of them to get the first star coin, because they have to break the crate open. And over here, they're gonna throw barrels at you. So you're gonna want to try to go up here, jump as quickly as you can. Don't like slip off the platform like I did. You want to jump off that crate as fast as you can before the boxing ghost throws the barrel at the crate, which ultimately destroys it. And after that, that's the end of that level. So yeah, we should hopefully be able to get through this a little bit quickly. Over here you can get a blue Yoshi, blue baby Yoshi. And, um, what makes this one useful is if you remember my new Super Mario as you walk through, he can shoot bubbles which will turn the enemies into either coins or power-ups. Yeah, I don't didn't mean to get that many ice flowers. I only need one. Uh, thanks, anyways. So yeah, it'll bas basically your power up basically differs depending on uh, who you're shooting at. Yeah, I mess messed up trying to get that acorn suit. Had a chance to get it and I messed it up. I think I can get it here. Can I? No. Just getting coins. That's nice. Can I get that? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Acorn suit. That's basically the highest it'll go. Any other power up after that is just a one up, which, you know, is pretty nice. Now, if for some reason you end up like me, where you end up with an acorn suit instead of an ice flower, um, what you can actually do is fly under and not screw up like I did. So what you want to do is just carefully fly under without hanging onto the wall, and that's pretty much how you can get that third star coin. Yep, almost ran out of time, but I still made it at the end. With just a couple seconds to spare. So, yeah, both of those levels weren't very easy. That one, that second one only took me about two or three attempts. So now for the fortress. Which is another level I screwed up on a few times before when recording. I basically kept trying to restart the, the entire world over and I just... Eventually realized it wasn't doing me any good. Yeah, that was a bit of a close one. Now this part was where I screwed up at. First of all, don't hit the block like I did. If you're trying to avoid not get trying to avoid getting a fire flower. First of all, at that section, you were actually supposed to go to the far right, 
to get that star coin. And here I had to cut because I messed up trying to get this third star coin. You're not supposed to go on the platform, you're supposed to wall kick, um, which is how you get in here. So yeah, don't do what I did and actually ride the platform up. You just want to wall kick and into the hidden wall and that's how you get the third star coin. In that question block, I think you can get a fire flower, but I didn't really want to get it, so I just didn't bother. Yeah. Alright, yep, let's just land a few hits on him. Don't get hit like I did. Yeah, I don't know what I did wrong there, but whatever. Um, but, yep, that's the end of that level. And then here I had to do a cut, because I messed up. Nothing but coins. I should have actually kept trying to get an acorn suit, but I didn't. So yeah, with Yoshi, you can just eat the blue Yoshi and carry him across the level. If you already have a power up, you're just gonna end up getting one up. There's your second star coin, and then your third one, what you have to do is you have to get up top where the fire flower's at. Yeah, don't do don't try not to crouch with Yoshi. What I should have done was got off Yoshi and crouched underneath, but didn't I didn't do that. Other than that, that's the end of that level. Alright, and that'll unlock the two pathways. Yeah, bubbles don't work against the bonsai bills, unfortunately. It'll work on the flying squirrel enemies, but not not those guys, the bonsai bills. Yoshi there, the baby Yoshi, and then just continue across. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about getting one-ups because I already maxed out my lives. This third star coin, though, was really tricky. Um, I wanted to try to get it with the acorn suit. Which you do need, but I just, for at first when I played this, I wasn't sure if I could get it. And this is where things got a little too close. I almost ended up dying. And there you go. One up. 
Could have gotten double digits, but I didn't time that very well. ghost house. Yeah, I didn't really want that, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so next level is Ice Slide Expressway. Now apparently in this level I was being really stupid. Um, there was actually a hidden penguin suit to get up here, but I was being dumb and didn't realize that at the time. And yeah, I accidentally hit the camera and probably without even realizing it. It wasn't very well stabled when I recorded this in the next world, and that's just because I tried to do everything I could and it just didn't work out. But yeah, it turned out that you did need a penguin suit for this level. Good news is that getting the red coins wasn't so hard without it, but... Yeah, this was where I had to do the cut, because yeah, you needed the penguin suit for that. And that, you basically with the penguin suit to get that second star coin was you had to slide into it. Now, like I said, I was being really dumb and stupid at, at this part. I probably could have gotten through this part really fast, but <clears throat> I was trying to see if there were if the third star coin was underneath those little icicle things. Um, and I didn't really know where else it could be, but I didn't realize it was hidden above the the thing, like right up there until now. But yep, that's your third star coin and the end of the level. So, yep, there's one up for that. Alright, so at this part I had to do a cut, and yeah, you could see I already beat at this level, but not completely. I got the second star coin, but I wasn't able to get the first one, and the reason was because I kept screwing up trying to get it. Um, the first star coin, you have to be very precise with your timing, and furthermore, it's also along where you find the secret exit as well. So that's why the secret exit was done, because I got impatient and didn't want to wait until time ran out so I decided to just beat the level and then and then quit if I had to because you can't quit a level that you never beaten so because I didn't beat this level I wasn't able to quit so I wasn't able to return to the map screen or anything anything like that all right but at this part here I did a little triple jump and got a one up So yeah, that's the secret exit, and then, as you saw, it opens up the, the pathway down below to a secret level. So, next is... Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. I tried doing that Nabbit stage, and you, could, you can just say that it didn't work out, so I cut that out. I don't think I actually did end, end up showing the Nabbit level in this video like I did last video. Like this and last video were two videos I didn't show the Nabbit stage and that was just because of how difficult it was. Even though you have to beat the Nabbit stages in order to achieve 100%, um, I just eventually didn't end up showing all, I didn't just, I didn't show all of them because like I said I just couldn't do them. 
but the one for Soda Jungle I do end up showing, but just not this world or next world, because they just proved to be way too difficult for me to beat. So, I was really annoyed about that when I found out that, you know, this world ended up just like uh, sparkling waters, you know, I wasn't too happy about that. Now this part ended up being one of the dumbest parts right here. I got hit by a boo, because I thought I needed to jump through that fake wall, like there was a fake wall, but there wasn't. But yep, that's the end of that level, as we're about to make our way to the normal exit. Even though I lost my 99 lives, I I do end up recovering it pretty quickly. I always find a way. So, next we're going to go into the secret level. Yep, Flipperous Flows, I think that's what it was called. Anyways. In this level, you could get a fire flower. And you could also get a one up in there, too. So that puts me at 97 lives. <laughs> okay, so. Try and ground pound if you can. I don't think there's anything to the left. Yeah, I didn't bother checking. There might have been something to the left, but I don't know. I don't need a fire flower, so we can just move on. Yeah, don't lose your fire flower like I did. It'll just make things more difficult. The good news is, with these enemies, um, they do end up taking out the little spike balls that the banana plants are blowing at. And I probably could have gotten uh, one up on top of the flagpole, but I didn't. So, this will unlock a pathway to the rock candy mines, which I won't be going to. Yep, save, and I did another cut, took care of Nabbit, and now we're going into Wendy's Thwomp Castle. And yeah, you can already guess by the name of why it's called that. I did a cut here because I think I died here, if I remember right. If I did, I probably would have just quit the game and start over, just because I already saved it that last part. This part here I messed up. Just gotta let the thwomp drop down and then get your star coin. this part you can just run, grab all the red coins, and then get an ice flower at that, that little part. Yeah, we got a lot of running to do. I probably could have just wall kicked, but I didn't do that. So after that, there's a fire flower in there. Alright, so now we're making our way into Wendy 
Japanese airship. Yeah, I messed up trying to get that third star coin. Or at least just once, but I still got it. Like, as you saw, I missed it. Which was kind of stupid. Okay, so then here... I don't know why I got hit, but whatever. Alright, well, that's the end of um, World 3, or World 4, I mean. Could be World 3, depending on which order you did it. For me, it's World 4. But, yeah. Alright, so that's all the Star Coins. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in Soda Jungle, a.k.a. Part 5.